Hey there, everybody. Uh, it's Brett. I'm usually doing repair videos, but uh, like I said before, I wanted to start getting into talking about music um, since we repair the stereos to listen to music. So I thought I'd start off because I uh, had a box set show up today. Finally, uh, a friend of mine who went to record store day uh, picked it up for me however long ago that was, what, three, four weeks ago? I can't remember, because I was working that weekend. And uh, we finally got a chance to meet up today, and uh, he brought that up for me. And I'll show you that at the end, but as you can see, we're talking about the doors. And uh, I'm not sure many people really enjoy the doors. I do, one of my favorite, favorite bands. Um, I was only a little kid back then, so can't say that I was out hitting the... Uh, the strip where they were playing, but um, you know, as I got into the uh, 70s, more as a teenager, I uh, really enjoyed The Doors. So had lots of their records, and um, I just wanted to share a little bit of my collection here. As you can see, it's um, got a few of them right up front here. So, but we'll start off with, uh, you know, they came out in, um, their first album was released in 67. I think it was like the first or second week of 1967 it finally got released and that was yeah i think it was this one right here right yeah the doors i have quite a few copies this one here is a nice mono copy on the gold big e electra label so um this one great songs you know break on through soul kitchen the crystal ship 20th century fox the Alabama song, Light My Fire, which, you know, got him in trouble with the uh, Ed Sullivan show, as I'm sure all of you know about that. The Backdoor Man, I Looked at You, End of the Night, Take It As It Comes, and The End, which also got a lot of, I think, bad publicity, especially, if I remember right, like at the uh, Whiskey or the Troubadour, I can't remember which one it was now, but um, people were pretty offended by that song at the time. But, uh, but yeah, there's a one of my, my, my mono copy of that album. Really, really great shape. Um, love playing that thing. So then I also have back here a uh, Mobile Fidelity copy. And I have three different stereos. And people are probably like, why do you have so many stereos? Well, this one is the Gold E with the uh, larger pressing ring. We have, oh, I can just come down here. We also have another stereo copy, but this one was on, this is like, some people say it's the second pressing, but they had two or three of the gold pressings, then they went to the red, but this is a red Big E. The, uh, the, the album itself is like, I mean, near mint. It's, it looked unplayed when I picked that up in the collection. And the other one is, you can tell this is a later pressing because of the Gold Record Award. But that's also a gold E, but it's a little bit different shape than the other one. So you can tell they have quite a few pressings of that. And then we had our, the Mobile Fidelity. Um, picked this up sometime in the 80s. I think I was already in the Navy and I was picking up a bunch of mobile fidelity stuff. I think is when I got this one. So, um, but yeah, also while they were recording those, um, sessions, they were also working on material that ended up becoming the, um, the strange days record. And that one is this one here. So this is a stereo copy. And then I have another copy of this one, but this one is the, what is this one? This one's the red label. Oh, this is a UK pressing. That's what that one is. That's why I have a different one there. So the, the UK pressing. Yeah. Um, another really, really good album. Some great songs on there. Um, and then this one is the, 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 the big, goldie pressing so again really i mean i go through lots of copies until i can cherry pick down to one that's just perfect and uh this one you know has strange days 
You're a lost little girl, love me two times, unhappy girl, horse latitudes, moon night drive. They played that you know a lot in the movie. Great little song. People are strange, the title track. My eyes have seen you. I can't see your face in my mind. And when the music's over. Um, it's quite a long song. But uh, yeah, that's another really, really good album. From the Doors. Um, so I, I don't think they had a sophomore slump at all because that was really, really good. Then they went into the um, Waiting for the Sun, which right here. It was, uh, you know, I had Hello, I Love You, Love Street, Not to Touch the Earth, Summer's Almost Gone, Wintertime Live, The Unknown Soldier, Spanish Caravan, My Wild Love, We Could Be So Good Together, Yes, The River Knows, and Five to One. Um, so yeah, this is a red label, stereo copy. I'm trying to find monos of everything I can also, because I, I like having the, the various things. One of those weird collector type things i guess huh um then they came out with the uh, the soft parade in 1969 which you know i always thought was a little a little softer side i guess is why it's called the soft parade uh tell all the people touch me which was a uh, robbie krieger song shaman's blues do it easy ride wild child running blue wishful sinful the Soft Parade. Um, so, I mean, the only one that really got big play off of that was Touch Me, Babe, you know. And, um, but yeah, so I got that one. That was, like I said, from uh, from 69. And then Morrison Hotel, which was uh, 69, 70-ish is when it came out. Um, Roadhouse Blues, great song, Wait for the Sun, You Make Me Real, Peace Frog, Blue Sunday, Ship of Fools. Um, Land Ho, The Spy, Queen of the Highway, Indian Summer, Maggie M. Gill. Um, the more I listen to this, even though not a lot of radio play, um, at least that I can remember, like I said, being a, a kid, um, six, seven years old there, I, I really have listened to this more and more, and I really, really enjoy that album. So it'd be, be interesting to see what everyone else thinks. And then you had the, um... Final album, which was the L.A. Woman. Um, great songs on that one. Uh, that was 71, right when he was, uh, right, uh, you know, he passed away in 71. Uh, the Changing, Lover Madly, Been Down So Long, Car Hits By My Window, L.A. Woman, great track. El America, La America, however you want to say it, La America, yep. Hyenta's House, Crawling King Snake, The Wasp, and Riders on the Storm. This one is actually, um, I got some regular copies somewhere. I don't know where it's at right now, but this is the, uh, still had the, the cellophane with the, uh, you know, with, with Morrison on the cross, which they tried to pull this back. There, there's still lots of copies out there. So, and that will be on, um, it won't be on the gold label because they'd already swapped off. So you're going to find those on the, is that upside down? Yeah, upside down on your butterfly labels so um but yeah this is the uh the record that i was waiting to get the box set from record store day um i don't know why i don't have that one in a anti-static sleeve that's weird but it's it's not my final press i'm still looking for for a better copy this one's probably just very good to uh to vg plus I'd like to find a, a better copy. Um, but yeah, so if you guys haven't seen it, here's the the Record Store Day, the LA Woman um, Sessions. And uh, I'm excited to, uh, to play this thing. And it's uh, four albums with, I guess, all kinds of different cuts uh, of why they were recording, uh, outtakes and things like that. So... I'd be interested to, to see anyone comment who already has it and already listened to it. I'm probably going to listen to it tonight. I'm going to try to get out to the shop and do a little work today, this afternoon. But, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to come on here and talk a little bit about records. And I um, figured I'd start off with this since this one uh, came today from a, from a good friend who brought it up for me finally. He was able to meet up. So 
But uh, give me your comments and let me know what you guys think about it. All right. Enjoy the day. Stop recording.